Ooh, bang. Thunder, lightning. Oh, war is with me. Oh, yeah, baby. My hand is freezing right now. Warm and sunny weather. Yo. Whoa. Why do I put myself in these situations? Don't look left, Jesse. Whatever you do, don't look left. Man, I'm getting excited going up this hill. Go right through a river. Why not? Oh, my gosh. What a workout. We're almost there. We got to be almost there. <laughs> Jesse What's up y'all, Jesse Warden here. We've got about two and a half hours drive to Skidmore Lake. See if I can make it to Flagpole Knob, check out some of those Jeep trails, fire trails. As always, scope some campsites. We are loaded down. The bike's already like hot. It's gonna be, I don't know, about 89 today, 87. But yeah, she's, uh, you can tell she's feeling the 30 pounds. I can feel the 30 pounds. Got a bunch of camping gear just in case. It's supposed to be okay here, but I get confused if tonight or tomorrow is supposed to unleash some pretty massive rainstorms, thunderstorms, which would be kind of fun in the mud. I don't have to camp, but I definitely wanted to bring camping gear just in case. The only thing I need to stop for is that probably in Staunton, get a uh, steak, some veggies, to have some dinner, some water, and instant coffee. Gotta remember the instant coffee. I always forget. Man, that thunder is rough it's like supposed to rain I gotta go find some gloves I'm trying to find some place to hide from this rain while I get my rain gear and then figure out what to do about my hands I think I can get some gloves from in the grocery store there none of these places have an overhang ooh a bank perfect ice and a lighter and there's something else I'm supposed to get. Something important. We gotta remember one in there. Not a bad shelter from the storm, huh? It's a bank. So yeah, there's thunderstorms for the next two hours. Thundering and lightning and raining. I'm not even where I'm supposed to be. I got another 40, 40 minutes, so I'm gonna go see if I can get some of the, one of those rubber gloves. I'm banking that my bike is still dry. <laughs> oh, banking. All right, my plan is to take the camping gear out of here. It's in a trash bag, so it'll keep it dry. I'm gonna take that out, put it in here. Then take the food, put it in there with ice, and then wrap all my clothes with trash bags to keep it dry, since this isn't waterproof. Much better, we got two waters, a special surprise drink, butter, steak, and I put the vegetables in the back. So that big black thing's the bag of ice. 30 minutes to Skidmore Lake, and there's this nasty hill about seven. So I have about, about two hours to find a campsite before sunset. So I'm gonna see if I can just, guess maybe camp near Flagpole Knob. And they say there's a bunch of campsites, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Also, blue isn't really my color, but don't have a lot of choice, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna go with what Food Lion had. Baby Blues. My wife is watching. I'll just say it's, you know, it's her. It matches her eye color. The uh, right thing to say, right? But yeah, severe thunderstorm watch, thunder, lightning. All that means is that Thor is with me on this adventure. I'm taking that as a massive positive. Yeah, we got ice and food in here. Got all the camping gear in here in trash bags. Technically, they're leaf bags. Tough. Here's this camping gear. I don't really care. This isn't going to get that wet, but if it does, it's not the big big deal. And then my extra camping clothing stuff in here is in one of those gigantic leaf bags, so waterproof. And I got some spares up here in case, you know, something bad happens. The only thing that's not waterproof is my boots. I should have worn my dirt bike boots, but I just, I don't know. I was going to a bunch of dirt bike trails today. Why would I wear those boots? I think most of those fire roads are actually pretty tame. And so with this rain, it's actually a good thing. Oh yeah, baby. Bunch of twisties. With dirt tires on the street. <laughs> what could, what could possibly go wrong? I'm tempted though, I'm tempted! Probably not a good idea. Especially all this gravel. Alright, I need to pay attention. This asphalt is all <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Fun times. I think there's like water pulling in my sleeve. Great. You know, these things are waterproof, but like my hand is freezing right now. Long to turn dirt and mud. But according to the map, yeah, it's only like, what, about a mile 
down this. Should be at the lake. This is not the warm and sunny weather I was hoping for. I was like, well, maybe I might get clouds, but no. Thunderstorms and rain, sucker. Left foot's a little damp, but that's okay. Despite not being able to feel my hands freezing. I think I'm dry. It's hard to tell, actually. All right, it looks like I go left. No overnight parking. No swimming. Really? But it's a lake. What the heck? Wait, did I miss the turn? I don't think I did. I think it's confused. That's what I think. I'm gonna keep going. But no camping, huh? No swimming, no camping, no fires. You're just allowed to fish, okay. Oh wow, that's kinda cool. Keep going. Can't really feel my feet right now, but. Wow. Let's take a break real quick. Get a good shot of that. That's a water crossing. Oh wow. Never been this uh, close to water with the bike before. It's a little unnerving. I grew up around water, but not with motorcycles. Oh, that's a big campsite. Looks like people camp anyway, huh? All right, looks like they closed the uh, northern entrance here. Let's take a look. All right, well, bit of a dent in the uh, plans here. So I might have to double back and go that way. I can't use my phone right now because ugh, the water. And I don't want to back up into the water. So let's uh, let's take this slow, eh? Okay. Let's go set up a tarp and then uh, make a plan. All right, for this I'm gonna lift my feet up. <laughs> Cheating! Cheating! <laughs> yeah, there's not enough trees to make a tarp, but I guess I could go over there. The uh, thunder angrily goes let's just uh let's set up a tarp and then we'll figure out what to do okay got some breathing room oh. all right i don't have a connection to plan a route but it looks like when I took a right down that road and I went to the lake and like, you know, it's blocked off. It's a service road. I think what I can do is backtrack, take a take a left, go down here and it'll hit the, the, the campsite. If that's no bueno or I'm feeling adventurous, I could take that all the way, I think, up because that's a switchback right there and flagpole knob. Is right there. Helpful little trick there. My battery was at 11 point something. Whatever it was, it was effectively dead. The screen would come on, just have the ABS like super faded, then it'd come on like this. Place the battery, perfect. All right, let's take a left and see if uh, this takes us to the campground. Uh-oh, somebody's got their flashers on. Hope they're okay. Ugh. You okay? I think they're okay. I think they were setting up camp over there. Man, I'm starting to get cold. That's not good. I got one spare shirt, no spare socks. My socks are wool. The good thing about wool is that even wet, they can still keep your feet warm compared to something like cotton or polyester, but only to a certain extent. But I think we're really close to the campground, so I might be able to just do flagpole knob till tomorrow. Let's get there, check the weather. We can plan our attack. Wow, tons of people are here. Okay. A lot of these people have two camp setups. They have one on their car, like a tent, where they have all their stuff, and then they actually have like a tent next to the water. It looked pretty packed. Let's just, uh, let's keep going, huh? I'm freezing, why not? Yeah, a lot of these campsites here are actually taken, which is, you know, a good sign. I mean, there's a lot of campers here. So I'm gonna push forward, but I think, uh, I think I can make it if the road's, you know, this tame. This is pretty tame for a, you know, off-road, so. Good sign. The bike's a little hot, but I think that's all right. Uh, a lot of campsites though, man. A couple with trees. Just want to see if I can get higher and maybe get a signal. Just tell the wife I'm okay. And the mom, my mom, I'm okay. They get worried. Blue spot. <laughs> that's kind of cool. It's like a party spot. That's rad. Where the party at? Follow the signs. And mostly good news, we're going up near flagpole and top of the mountain and possible not quite but possible cell signal if I get high enough once you get in this side of the Mongol Mon Monongala forest whatever it's called 
in West Virginia. I've had notoriously bad cell signals. Not holding my breath. You never know. Good workout. Yeah, I, I want to get my hammock, dude. I'm cold. <laughs> It's mainly because my feet and arms and hands. Campsite. Whoa. Slow down. Water crossing. Ugh. Wow, those are some thick rocks. Man, those are slippery. I got lucky. That's kind of cool or uncool. I guess it's marking favorite campsites of friends. Using flags. Never done that before. Kind of clever. But yeah, this isn't so bad back here. Definitely seen worse fire roads. Faux show water all over my face. I'm trying to look down so the rain doesn't get in my visor. Whoa! And twigs don't hit me in the face like that. Man, what a maze. Yeah, both my boots are soaked now. They're not freezing, but they're not warm. Ooh, that's a stream, stream crossing. Commit, baby. Commit. You're impressing me, Versus. You know, you think I'd be working so much, I get warm, but nope. <laughs> I was kind of hoping all this cardio would help. I knew I should have brought my puffy jacket. Oh well. Whoa, that's uh, it's no joke. Commit, Jesse. Put your feet up. Whoa! <laughs> I put my feet up and slid. Back tire, lost traction, but recovered. Got to commit. Commit, just like this one. Nice. Nice. Man, lots of water crossings. Do you want water crossings? You got him. All right, commit yet again. Ugh. Doing good. How's our gear? Gear's still there. Gear's still there, okay. As far as I can tell. Okay, careful of the culvert. Those get a little slippery. The metal can hurt your tires. All right, this is a good sign we're going uphill. Okay, note to self, if you're gonna do the water, try to keep it straight. That loss of traction was definitely a surprise. And it was the back tire, not the, let's do the same direction. Yeah, whoa, I think I got water in my, ugh, entire pant leg, that's that's great. I know it's supposed to be, what, 89? But once you get in the mountains, it lowers, so let's just say, I don't know, 79. And then at night, it'll get to like 60, so yeah, it's hyperthermia. Hypothermia territory, but I got dry clothes. Well, by dry, I mean like I got one shirt and I got some really good down to 20 degrees, 40 degrees stuff. So as long as I don't get it wet and it didn't get wet, I'll be fine. If it did, I'm just gonna have to make the miserable ride back, but I'm committed. I'm so far down this road. Turning back would be miserable. Driving all the way back to Richmond would be miserable, but I'll do it if I have to. I just, I came so far, you know? Even if I did, at least I could say I explored this area and could come back later. Wow, I think I lost traction there too. Okay, interesting. The back tire has some tread, more than the front. This is kind of gnarly. Whoa, skid plate took that hit. Wow, it's actually better to be in the ruts here. The, the top is so steep, slippery. Lots of whoops. Wet whoops. Okay, I have no idea if I'm close or not. But I'm going up, that's a good sign. Oh man, I had to pick that line at the last second. Those rocks were slippery looking, I got lucky. Whew. All right, let's go on the left. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, a little slippery. Front tire just bounced off a rock on that one. Why do I put myself in these situations because if it works out, it'd be really fun. That's why. That's, that's why. Yeah, we're getting really high. We haven't hit a switchback yet. Maybe we won't hit a switchback? <laughs> Maybe this is a switchback? I don't know. This is a good place to take a breather. Ugh, let's see. All right, so GPS is not 100% accurate, but it's hard to use the phone. It's not really the gloves, it's the water. It's just too wet to do anything. At least the radiator fan still works, that's a plus. Wow, those are some violent looking rocks. Okay, that one on the left was super close, man, and really sharp. This is no joke, if my updated skills can handle this. Okay, I, I should point out that I have only a little bit more confidence, not a lot. So despite my continue on, I'm still uh, super nervous right now. Hard right, there we go. Yeah, a lot easier to turn, send it up. <laughs> 
Whoa, that is a rut. I'm going to have to think about this. Let's see here. Uh, I can gun it off to the left. Let's, uh, let's see. Am I screwed because I, I stopped in the middle of the hill? I'm going to duck walk it. <laughs> yeah. That was terrifying. But we did it. I should point out I have like, what, 30 at least, maybe, 20 extra pounds of gear. Neversus is making it happen, dude. We gotta be getting close, man. We have to be. Yeah, I don't think any of the cars went this far. Call it a wild guess. <laughs> I think that truck I saw back there was probably the last person I'm gonna see for a while. Unless they came from the other direction, which they might have. Definitely a possibility. Okay, here's another switch back. Ugh. Not the line I wanted, but victorious none the same. Ugh. Ugh. Next to a cliff, that's not nerve-wracking. Don't don't look left, Jesse. Just whatever you do, don't look left. Oh wow, this is rough. Oh man. Okay, this is like water stuff, but I might be able to go left. Let's go left. <sighs> oh God, I had to commit that one. I didn't want to, but I did. Oh, I was so worried about my skid plate. Wow. Okay, that'll, that'll make some trucks turn around for sure. Jesse Warden should have turned around. Why am I still going? I hope that was my skid plate. Skid plates. Man, these rocks are gnarly. Like, see that that thing right there? I mean, that's sticking a foot out of the ground. I don't want to get excited, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really internally getting uh, happy and excited, and I know I shouldn't because I don't want to, you know, set myself up for disappointment. But, man, I'm getting excited going up this hill. It's hard not to admit. If I make it up top and, and it has that big open meadow, I'm not going to canter because there's no trees, but... It'd be cool to get a victory picture there to say I did it, you know? I thought this was going to be like some simple fire road. I didn't know this was rock fest. This thing is still going up, dude. Wow. Okay. Let's just go right through a river. Why not? All right. That one wasn't so great. Oh, on the left. Good job. Wow. I almost stalled her twice. That's never happened. Oh my gosh. What a workout. We're almost there. We gotta be almost there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a break. Nice. That's an awesome looking tarp tent. Wow. Hold on. Let's make sure I didn't pass it. I think I passed it. Yeah, that might have been it. My instincts were right. Yeah. Man, that is an aggressive whoop. Oh, wow. One hell of a lookout. What's up, brother? Good pose, dude. Cool. All right. Cool mountains. Interesting thing about flagpole knob, no flagpole. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice guys. Go back to that campsite and put a tarp over the bike again. Good news, I'm here. Okay, dot com. Got a tarp up. My video camera battery died, so I gotta use the iPhone. But if I can get it just a little bit higher, I can stand under it and unpack all my camping stuff right, before it gets too dark. So got the tarp set up for the hammock. I'll probably do that tree to that tree, I think. And the tarp extends kind of exactly to the tarp over the bike so I can get all my stuff without the bike and my stuff getting wet. And then there's a fire pit there, which I'm not going to use. Uh, I have the saw, but it's just, it's too wet, man. It might not rain, we'll see. And then the road is like literally right, I know it's hard to see, but like right there is the road and it goes all the way up here. So, so I'm kind of nestled back. I could have gone over there, but I just, I really like this site better. I'll zoom out so you can see. Dinner tonight is ribeye and Brussels sprouts, garlic butter. Seasoning somewhere, I forgot where I put it.
I got a camp set up with the hammock set up right there. I had a really wonderful surprise. I found my bag, a spare pair of socks. My camp shoes on, my paluvas right now. They're dry-ish. Got mead, Vikings blood to celebrate. Flagpole knob, I did make it. I got a good picture. There's some guys camped up there. There's a Toyota Tacoma that made it out. Three guys in a tent and they took my picture. I was really appreciative. They also told me about the app to download so I can have maps. And they told me about an easier way to get down. Cheers. I've always love this stove because you can cook two things at once. And they go to a single isobutane container. And you can independently adjust each. And it goes pretty low too. So if you don't want to overcook something, I love this thing. I so that insane trail I went up, there's actually somebody trying to get up it. I can hear them. They're probably in the hard spot. There's a lot of campsites. I don't know why they chose that one. I had to put the tarp down in the doors last night because the wind was blowing so much. It wasn't cold, but it was just annoying getting blown around all the time. Well, my head where inside was warm, but ugh. cold air is coming on my head. I'm like, uh, no, we're not doing this.